Well, I'm back to episode 40, the 3 0 of Rangers career mode. And as you can see, last game for the split here away at the 3G pitch. Um, yes, things are relatively toasty at the top. Obviously, two horse race. I mean, it's been a two horse race for a fucking uh, very long time, but very long time. Um, Livingston, Lamelton, they're a bit away from the chasing pack. I mean, if Kelly beat us and Hibbs botched, but they're a get away to Ross County, and if Dundee and I beat Celtic, you know, there could be some new teams in the split, but the way the split is working, it looks like it's just going to be that six uh, currently stands. Hopefully, I just didn't scud myself here, but we should be getting the job done. Nah, I'm not fearing it, man. Ah, uh, I got a bit of confidence back up with that Livingston game and hopefully, and just hopefully, we do not bottle it. But here we go. Last game for the split. Let's win. No, no, it's me about this. It's like the commentators hyping this up as if it's like the title deciding game because obviously the game's just programmed. Oh, well, it's going to 33 games then. Once it's... Like, I'll probably come up with news articles after this. Oh, Rangers won the league or if I bottle it. Celtic have won the league. Um... Even though they've still got the whole... I mean, what game was that? I think it was FIFA 10, where there, there, there isn't even a split. If you remember that career mode did it last year? Um, that just... I mean, that just sums up. Like, well, they just don't give a rat's ass, like, but... It's a wee bit annoying when it does stuff like that, but look at that, man. I mean, our goal difference is higher than Aberdeen's points, and that in itself is absolutely insane, guys. But there's the main man. His goals have dried up a wee bit recently, but you never know. Today might be the day. Saka finds Alfredo. Lee Dixon saying Ian Wright would have scored an absolute hat full of goals in this team. Well, we don't need Ian Wright because we've got Morelos. Open down, it's McKenzie. All I had to do was slide in number nine. I'm sure it's Brophy. All I had to do was slide him in, man, and we were done for. But Jordan Jones now. Leading the absolute charge against his former club. There's a bunch of bodies. It's Haji. Takes it down and places it. Oh, but it's offside. Oh, that's a kick in the balls, man. That is pish. Oh, tries to find Morelos. I don't know what I was doing with the skill pass, man. Should have just been uh, <laughs> lobbed over the top. But it's out to McKenzie. Tav. Trying to get near him. It's no happening. Kelty. Over to Brophy. Win that ball again, we do win it out to Jack. We haven't drew a game in this career. Will we go the full season without a draw? Who knows, but it's through to the big man. Who needs Ian Wright? We don't. He played for Celtic anyway, like, so he wouldn't be very uh, welcome here. But anyway, Morelos with the goal. Saka. Flicks it through to Alfredo. Can he shoot? Oh, that's good defending there from Dika Mona. Mon of the Dick, uh, but here we go, Barisic, whips it in, free header, collision at the back post, Ellis, ah, oh, good interception there to Shaft Haji, oh, we've won it with Haji though, back heels it, Jack Jones, out to Captain Tav, drills it towards goal, but it's a good save there, Browning's the Bakers. Um, Barisic whips it in, free header. Monsaka, starting over Kent, as I thought Kent's been pretty pish recently. Saka back to Jordan Jones, it's a great save to keep Kelly in it, because they've been shit. Bassi can't quite believe it on the bench there, Barisic whips it in, Haji. Back out to Barisic, launches it in, Morelos. That is half time, but we're dominating, just need that second goal. Morelos, oh, almost played in, keeper Doyle though, I almost pole axed him, why is he ducking out the road to that man, he could intercept that, it's Joe Aribo. finds Haji, but it's intercepted yet again, Kelly, leaking chances, but they're showing the odd bit of great defending. And it's played over to McKenzie, and we've been caught here, Bal I'm caught in two minds, I have to go for him now. Ball again. I get, why are you leaving us, man? He's jobbing us out. But I have to play him because he's actually fucking brilliant, so. You know what I mean? Even though his rating would suggest he's like our fourth choice centre back, he doesn't play like it. But it's out to Jordan Jones. I see him at the back post. Saka! Oh, I thought, I thought Foyle would have almost saved that there, man. But it's 2 0, and I think that puts the game beyond Kelly. Kelly now with a corner, Chris Burke. 
looking to force and equaliser here. It's whipped in. Haji though clears it as far as Bridley and he strikes it. Fuck, tell you what, like I was decent, but I think Al McGregor would have had it covered. And now can we get the ball here and lead a counter attack? Yanis Haji over to Saka. It's a brilliant ball. I think they're going to be caught out here. If Morelos could just stay on side. Did he? I don't know. He does, because it's 3-0. No! Oh, great interception there for Fan. Der Berg, Haji, unleashes Jones. Been a few substitutions. Morelos is off. Digamona, he can't keep up with Jordan Jones. He whips it in. Joe Aribo! Right into the roof of the net. And I feel like we're getting back. I mean, what's that all about? Why is the ball floating in the middle? Chris Burke, McGeady spins me. Van der Berg, I mean, what is Chris Burke going on here? Chris Burke, he whipped it right across, but again, shite from a Kelly perspective, no one wanting to fucking help the guy out, and he's destroyed this, but Van der Berg, who's been brought down, I mean, they really want this fucking goal, don't they, but goal's in, with a block, Kabamba, trying to skill out, Van der Berg's been sent, look at this fucking skill, this is why I can't cope in the Arsenal career mode, because, it's so much better players doing it, and they're just fucking that rapid on the ball, you just can't do anything about it. But Aribo flicks it through to Haji, and I think Kelly have been undone here by the counter attack. Come on, Roof, can he get on the score sheet? Yes, he can. 5 0. That's full time. Easy as you like. Kelly can try all the skill moves they want, but once they get hit in the counter, they're pish. As you can see, though, the split is actually taking place. Oh, I mean, the matches are taking place after Dundee United this cup match. So we've got Motherwell, Hibs, Aberdeen, St Johnston, and Celtic in the last game of the season. <laughs> Which probably mean, I mean, we could definitely easily win four in a row because we've, we've been great this season in large parts of the season, winning loads in a row, right? And I think Celtic probably will win all their. I mean, that that could be an absolute insane hell fucking helicopter Sunday it, against each other. What? No need for the helicopter. I into the Scottish Cup semi-final. We're not at Hamden, we are at Ibrox. We are at home. Well, unless they've magically chose our stadium like they did in uh, the Master League. I don't know, but it's it's more or less the same B team that's going out. Borjonas even gets a game. He'll be leaving. I just could not be our side in his contract. Up. But I thought, why not give him his own uh, his testimonial, even though he's not been here 10 years or anything else. <laughs> anything like it but it's looking like an old farm final and that's what we want to see but I'll probably end up bottling this now that I've said that so let's get stuck it Saka's beat his man there he tried to whip it right back to big Hami Barayunas but no happening and now Pilot up to Lauren Shankland player to watch indeed could Shankland be on his way in the summer to Rangers I don't know might be aiming a wee bit higher than Lauren Shankland like I would sign him right because I think he's fucking good but it's the fact that this, he'd be like, what, 66 rated or something? You just don't really want to take your team down with that. And what is Kamara Roof doing? I mean, remember he's seen that Big Saka was running in competition, top goal scorer and all, but he just completely and utterly left that. But thankfully, he's finished it. Good play here. Etten is running, running down a dream. Here we go, Etten back to Murdoch. Boom. Fortunas out to Saka. Back to Roof. Come on, Roof! 2 0! And I think. <laughs> fucking. What, the goals are back! The goals are fucking back! Telling you, none, none of this pissed results. This is where we need it, another. Maybe getting it knocked at Europa League helped us. Murdoch to Roof. Roof now to Etting. Saka make a run. Nope. And the early free flowing football has kind of died here. And now it's McMullen. Oh, it's out to Harks. Oh, it's flicked over to Chalmers. Lieutenant Chalmers, god damn it. It's a good save there. Oh, it was offside. I was wondering why there was that much space, guys. What a ball over to Saka, man. That has been picked out. He's a Scottish Cup top goal scorer. What can he do here? He's been brought down to a certain degree. I've brought him down. I mean, I think he got held back. Goldson, who will be receiving a player in form um, for his great work in the old form. When I can upload it, probably already be a player a few out, maybe. Who knows? But it's up to Etten. Etten. Oh, I tried to back it to uh, Kamar Roof. No happening, though. And that is the half time whistle. 
Pish. <laughs> yes, Etienne. Great hold up play. Scott Arfield doesn't feature much this season. It's over to Kamar Ruff into the bottom left hand corner. And it is 3 0. No, oh, I've predicted the shot. And Nicky Clark, the former Rangers man, is he maybe could this be the comeback like West Ham against Tottenham? Are they going to bring on Lancini for a fucking 50 yard thunderbolt? Etting over to Roof. Boom, over Armordock to seal the deal. Cedric Etting. Yes, right into the roof and he gets a wee goal. And it's job done. And there's the full time whistle, guys. We are through to the Scottish Cup final. I wonder who went through in the other one. Let's find. As you can see, guys, the Cup final will be against Celtic. Um, they must have beat Hibs or whoever. The, whoever I think it was Motherwell, actually. Because um, we, we put Hibs at the Cup, so yep. They must have beat Motherwell. But yeah, guys, that'll do it for episode 30. We've got Motherwell up next. The split begins. Will it be an old firm? Super Sunday blast at the end of the season. Winner takes all. God damn it, son of a bitch. Will it be a winner takes all? Well, only time will tell, or will one of us bottle it on the run up? Anyway, till next time. Peace.